A. So that was the thing that happened. If you haven't seen it already, we I was at the Norwegian Game Awards final about three or four weeks ago, and we managed to win in the category for best audio. So I hope you don't mind if I just stand up and say, "Hey, look at me, mom! I'm internet famous." Okay, so anyway, <laughs> sorry, sorry for that. Well, I was I was at the event, and there was I met quite a lot of. People of my age, indie developers themselves, they came with a lot of... They, they taught me a lot of new things that I could, I thought about incorporating into the game. And not just the game, but in my in my, uh, in my my workflow and my design process as general. Uh, and not only that, we, we got a lot of new people test the game as well, and they came with a lot of amazing feedback. Most concerning... Uh, how should I say this? Game feel? I do realize now that the level that we put out had a lot more flaws to it than I thought when I initially made it, uh, and I have learned a lot in the process. So, so the thing is, the night before the event, Martin was up and I was up and I was sitting up until like 6 a.m. in the morning of of the day that the fair was going to be on, and I I was desperately trying to make things work and I was putting things together to sort of resemble a level that I thought would look like Mega Man. And it turned out that yeah, people liked it. People liked the general feel and the general art and visual, but the gameplay was just th th there was just something missing to the gameplay. The controls isn't the controls aren't tight enough. People have a bit of hard on the jumping jumping puzzles or jumping parts because it's not too clear when or how high the jump will go or when you should jump. And as of last week, I have been sitting down fixing most of these I individual issues that have popped up. So, it's going to be a lot interesting to see what people have to say about that. But, let's not dwell on the past. Let's look ahead for a moment and see what is in the future of our little indie game. The, uh... I, I didn't... Okay, so... I'm going to get this out of the door. Physics is a problem for us. Uh, I, I mentioned some while ago, in fact, quite a while ago, that I just decided to throw the the default Unity physics in out the window and make my own. They're currently running on the CPU in Unity script, and as a result, they are slow. Like I think we can fit for for a decent sized level, we can fit at most ten actors in a scene together before the frame rate starts dropping, and that's just not acceptable. Like, uh, and so as of now, I've made it my priority to work on a GPU shader for Collision. So it's gonna be. Uh, I've read a lot into shader programming lately, and is my plan is to make a little program or program segment that can make the collision detection run on the GPU instead. So it's hopefully going to be faster. I know I prom I did when I announced that I had made my own physics engine. I didn't. I did also announce that I was going to make a tutorial, but I did hold that off because I think in the back of my head I realized even then that. The physics as they are just too slow and they're not going to be useful to anyone. But as I... I began a little bit and I... The, it is feasible, it's definitely feasible. And I thought about when I made some progress I'm going to release a short video clip or something demonstrating that and it, as I... As I actually work it into the game I thought about making documenting it all in a little video tutorial. If you have any comments or questions or general viewpoints, just as always, leave them in the comments. And uh, and yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna call it there. Catch you later, and thanks so much for sticking with me so far. See you in the next video. Boys, goodbye.